Welcome back to Good Afternoon, Kentucky. Forrest Tucker joins us now with 60 Seconds of Sports. Forrest, you talked to head coach, head football coach Mark Stoops today, the first time since the bye week. Yeah, he had a lot to say. I had a lot to say about the Tennessee Volunteers, the latest foe for the Wildcats, coming up on mm -hmm. Saturday at 7 p.m. It's at Kroger Field under the lights. Some words that Stoops used to describe the Volunteers, my gosh, explosive, tempo, balanced, efficient, talented, and dynamic. So that's a mouthful, right? Uh, he says that the Vols throw a lot of teams with the quarterback and Joe Milton who can scramble and he can throw deep. So he's a threat uh, right near the line of scrimmage and he's a threat downfield with his receivers. That's a really big deal. Tennessee's, like I just said, Ramey, 50-50 team and they can hurt the Cats either way, pass or run. And last year, UK found out about that. Hendon Hooker was the quarterback then for the Vols and it was a 44-6 loss and they're hoping to make sure that that does not happen again. But What's hard for UK in preparation is that they just cannot simulate an offense like Tennessee's. It's so hard for them to do that, so they're going to have to try their best in practice. But Mark says that the team has improved during the bye week, and as long as they stick with their fundamentals and they stay mentally strong, they're going to be okay. Tempo uh, stresses some kids mentally, and, and, and just uh, you can't have that. You can't have any make mental breakdowns, that's for sure. It's hard enough, and they put enough stress on you and make enough one on one catches that you can't have your own mental breakdowns. The last piece of that, Ramey, is that Soup stressed multiple times that his team needs to execute better. I mean, I could literally have counted on two hands the number of times said execute in his mm -hmm. press conference today. So we'll see if they can do that on Saturday versus the Vols.